It's Thursday, April 28th. I'm Juliet. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm Jack. Julie is actually pretty busy prepping for the tech fair, so I'm going to be taking her spot for Netlink today. So get ready for cringy antics and intros that make no sense. Not true at all. But maybe a little. Cue the intro. <laughs> Microsoft is looking to experiment with data storage. How? They just bought 10 million strands of DNA for digital data storage research. Yes, you heard right. DNA used for data research. Microsoft bought 10 million strands of synthetic DNA from Twist Bioscience, a genetics startup. The reason being is that the data density of DNA can hold a lot more information versus conventional storage systems. We're talking about one gram of DNA being able to represent close to a zettabyte. That's 1 billion terabytes of data. Plus, DNA can keep data safe for over a thousand years. The writing process is done by twist, and the reading process uses genetic sequencing. Early trials of the technology allow for full retrieval of the encoded data from DNA. The process isn't cheap, but down the road, this tech will be a lot more useful for long-term archival of data. HP is making another Chromebook, but this time they partnered up with Google in the design department. It's called the Chromebook 13. It features an anodized aluminum chassis, a 13.3 inch screen running a resolution of 3200 by 1800, and is 12.9 mm millimeters thick. Spec-wise, there's a 6th gen Intel Core M processor and can be configured with up to 16 gigs of RAM. There's also a separate USB-C dock allowing for multiple displays or other accessories. HP claims that the Chromebook 13 can get 11.5 hours on a charge, and since Google had a hand in designing the 13, it does resemble a bit like the Google Chromebook Pixel. The big difference here is the price. The Chromebook 13 starts at $499 and pre-orders start today. Facebook announced today that they will be bringing its most popular apps to Windows 10. The apps in question are Facebook, Messenger, and Instagram. Now both Facebook and Messenger will be rolling out on Windows 10 desktop, meanwhile Instagram will be rolling out on Windows 10 mobile. The Facebook app will take advantage of the Windows 10 live tiles allowing you to see status updates and desktop notifications for updates is supported as well. Same goes for Messenger, it will make use of the live tiles and desktop notifications. Facebook and Messenger will roll later this year on Windows 10 mobile and all three apps will be available later today on their respective platform stores. It's time for... Pew, 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 pew. This is Jack. Jack reads daily tech news. Whenever he does not want to talk about a topic for too long, he puts it in the lightning round. Wow, I didn't think I could look so dapper as a cartoon. Thanks Ratafiki for the submission. If you guys have an idea for a submission, hit us up. Samsung is looking to make a VR headset without a phone as it's displayed to compete with the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift. Speaking of VR, Minecraft Gear VR Edition is now available on the Oculus Store for $699. DeWalt, the maker of Power Tools, announced the MD501, a rugged, waterproof smartphone. Super Hot, the unique slow motion when you stand still FPS, is coming to Xbone next week. The Electronic Sports League is launching a 24-7 eSports TV Pro gaming channel, but it's only available in Baltic and Nordic countries through Viasat Networks. Poo. Rumors are floating around that HTC is making two Nexus devices this year, the M1 and the S1. And Comcast is going to buy DreamWorks Animation for $3.8 billion. <sighs> Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the forum post linked in the description. Remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Now, personally, I know where that's from, but I don't think anyone else knows who Red Green is south of the Canadian border. He, he taught me a lot about duct tape, so. Anyways, duct tape. We might actually need to bring some for when we set up for the tech fair this weekend. Yes, you guys are probably sick of us reminding you, but it's going to be a swell time. NCIX is turning 20, so this is how us tech nerds celebrate. We've got over 20 booths with various vendors showing off cool things. There will be a VR demo with the HTC Vive. We'll even be flying drones indoors, hopefully safely flying them indoors, plus hourly giveaways and exclusive deals at the Lansdowne NCIX store location you won't find anywhere else in the lower mainland. So come one, come all to the NCIX Tech Fair. Click here for details or down in the description. The NCIX Tech Fair, showering you with PC components since 1996. All right, all right, all right. That's it for Nailing Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter right over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it. Comment down below for fans with benefits and subscribe for more like this from NCIX. This is Jack signing off. I'll probably see you again tomorrow, but until then, 
keep your stick on the ice.